My name is Roy Sheen Johnson. I am a full-time professor here at Bossier Parish Community College. I've been teaching here for about 15 years, and um, I enjoy teaching human anatomy, physiology, um, biology, non-majors biology, anything that they ask me to teach, I teach. I studied at Texas A&M University. I have a bachelor's in biology, and I studied with an emphasis in zoology, um, biology, and uh, botany. And then I got a position at USDA APHIS. And so while I was working there, I found that um, that branch of USDA APHIS actually used insects to control other insect pests. So instead of them spraying pesticides and chemicals, they would release what was called beneficial insects. And so I was like, oh, I like that. And so they called it biocontrol. But I did go back to e and I got um, a grant, and that's when I uh, worked in the field of entomology. And entomology, of course, is the study of insects. I worked with um, aphelinids, which are tiny little parasitoids. And I tell students these parasitoids are like the movie Alien. Um, they find the uh, host, which in that case was a white fly, it was a bat pest, and they uh, lay their egg in it, and then when the egg hatches, it's actually a parasitoid instead of the white fly. And so I studied those parasitoids, and I found that um, there were similarities with the parasitoids, and there were differences. And one of the things that I discovered was that you had, uh, there were two uh, species, uh, or I thought they were species, of this parasitoid, one was a light form and one was a dark form, and they actually developed differently also. And so um, my major professor said, there you go, there's your thesis. Your thesis is to try to distinguish these two cryptic species that look the same morphologically, but biologically they're different. Marco, who's a student from Italy, uh, read my thesis and um, he used the same phylogenetic analysis that I did, but he also looked at it genetically. Come to find out, at the end, there are five species, which is like, wow. And if you're in the entomology world, it's like a big deal. And so there are three original species, but he got to name two new species. And one of the new species just happened to be the light form that I found that was developing a certain way. So our paper, we worked on this paper together for a course of a year and it was finally published in the Royal Entomology Society uh, Journal, which is like a big deal. Not only is it well known and uh, respected in the United States, but it's also well known and respected um, in England and overseas. So that was like a huge accomplishment and I'm just like elated that um, I was even asked to join again the project and that he read my thesis and found that you know he wanted to take it a step further.